Hey there guys, you're going to get to a point during your Redbubble career where you've got just so many designs going on, you're not going to know what to do with it. You're going to have hundreds and hundreds and thousands of designs all sitting in these folders. So what I've done here is I've opened up Windows Explorer and I just want to show you the way I keep things organized. I'm not saying this is the way you should do it, but you may find this helpful. So here's just an example. I've got a few different PNG files that I've got that are just kind of sitting here. And then I've got two folders. One's called Celebrity and I started these designs. And I've got another one called Merry Christmas and I've got some designs here. And if these look familiar, I've got some other videos where these are popping up. And the problem is you're going to get to the point where you're not sure did I upload these? Did I not upload these? What about these ones? Uh, I can't remember. Did I upload those ones? Are these ones, am I done with these? So imagine if you've got hundreds of pictures and designs and fonts and SVG files and PNG files, it can be a, a nightmare to try to keep them all organized. So I've got a system that I use, and again, it's you know my personal preference, but I'd like to share it with you because I've had people ask, how do you stay organized when you're uploading hundreds of designs? So here's what I do. I basically create a folder and I'll call it whatever the new design is, okay? So let's pretend I've got a design and I'm going to call it vote. So it's going to be a whole bunch of designs about voting. Then I'll go into that folder and I'll go into large icons. That's just my personal preference and I'll create another one and I'll call it AA Photoshop. And the reason I call it that is because it is right at the start of the alphabet. So it'll be AA as opposed to PH. And then I'll create another folder and it will be called AAJPEG. And another folder and it'll be called AAPNG. So what I'll wind up doing then is I'll have these folders open. So Inside of Vote, I typically have these three folders. Now, actually, I'll create a fourth one as well, and it'll be called BB Finished. So what will happen then is with these four folders, and I'll just move these, I'll just copy them, and just move them back into here, just as an example. What I can do then is, let's say I'm using this Crest example, this Crest. Well, once I'm done with it, I can move it over into the BB Finished. I've, I'm done with it for now, and it's like an archive that I can have for all of my designs that I'm finished with. I can even have one that's called BB Flags and BB, you know, um, maybe it's text designs, whatever it may be. I'm creating these folders, and I have them alphabetically listed, so that's why I have AA and then BB. So for Celebrity, for example, I would create these folders. I'll just use these three here. I'll copy them. And underneath celebrity, I would then, these are PNG files, but I would might also have a, folder, a Photoshop file. I would put that into the Photoshop. And then I would have this one here, and I would put it into the PNG if I have it. Now inside the PNG folder, I'll have one more folder. And it's called AA Published. So what will happen is, as I'm creating, if I spend the whole day creating, I might not be uploading. So then I've got the whole day creating, I might have 40, 50, 60, 100 designs sitting there. And then as I upload them, I dump the next one into published, because I just uploaded that one. So design number one, I upload. Then when I go to design number two, I dump design number one in the published folder. Now the nice thing is, is when I get everything uploaded, so now I've uploaded both of these designs, let's say. So I'll go back here to Celebrity and I'll push that into the PNG and then to the published. So let's say I've got both of these now published. They're up on Redbubble, they're ready for sale. I can then take this entire folder, copy it, and move it into my T public folder. And then I can just remove it all from the published and I can dump the 100 designs into T public. So I know at any point in time where things are located within my folders. And really it's because I have all my Photoshop sitting in one, all of my PNGs sitting in the other. If I create stickers, I'll create PNGs called stickers. So here's Merry Christmas, for example. I've got pink text on a sticker, pink text not on a sticker. So you see how it's white with a round outline? That's my sticker. That's my sticker. So these two could go together in a design, or these two could go together in a design. So I've got all of this, and then I would create folders in here, and I would say, inside of this, I would say AA published. And then as I move stuff through, I'm now dumping it into this folder.
So I hope you guys found that helpful. I just, like I say, it's it's just the idea here is that you're moving it along. You've got three different levels. You've got your Photoshop master files. You've got your PNG and JPEG, which is your second level. And then inside of those, you've got your published as well, which is your third level. So I hope you guys found that helpful. If you like this, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe so you never miss an episode, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.